Hello, I am Jamie. Welcome to Storytime Yoga. Today we are reading Imagine a Day by Sarah Thompson and Paintings by Rob Gonzalez. And I have permission from Simon & Schuster Pub Publishers to read this book. Imagine a day when you can dive down through branches or swim up to the sun. Imagine a day when grace and daring are all we need to build a bridge. Imagine a day when your wishes float on a puff of air to summon back the blue. We're going to come starting on our bellies. So come to your bellies. Reach your arms out long out in front of you and reach your feet out behind you. Lift your chest and your feet up off the ground and then swim. Imagine like you're swimming through the branches or swimming all the way up to the big bright sun. And then slowly roll over to your back for bridge pose. Take your hands and your feet and press them into the mat. Lift your hips up towards the ceiling. And then see if you can walk your feet just a little bit back until your fingertips can barely touch your heels. See if you can do that. Hug your knees into the middle and then slowly come back down. Ready? Press back up. Hips up. Press them as high as you can get them. Make your legs really strong like the like you're holding up a bridge. And then come back down. One more. Bridge pose. Press your hips up. Breathe in and breathe out. Lift your hips a little bit higher and then slowly come all the way down. And grab both of your knees, rock and roll and rock and roll like you're a balloon floating up to the sky. And then come to seated. Bring your hands to the center of your heart and then breathe in, expand your arms out like a balloon, filling up with air, and then let all the air out. One more time, breathe in, fill up, and then let it all out. Imagine a day when your house enfolds you like a nest, rocking gently in the autumn wind. Imagine a day when you forget how to fall. Imagine a day when we build a moat, not to keep strangers out, but to welcome them in. Imagine a day when you don't need wings to soar. Let's be a house. Are you ready? Just like in the book, we're going to build a big, strong house. Take your legs wide to create a big, stable foundation. Bring your arms up into a point to create your roof. And then in the book, it says, imagine a day when your house enfolds you like a nest, rocking gently in the autumn wind. So you're going to rock back and forth, coming up on one toe, and then the other swaying gently from side to side. And then from here, going to bring our foot to tree pose. We're going to find one point out in front of us and see if we can make today the day 
that we don't fall out of tree pose. You can use anything around you to hold on to, maybe a shelf or a friend, and just find that one spot right out in front of you that you don't take your eyes off of. And you switch sides. Bring your other foot up. If you wobble, it's okay. But then see if you can find that one spot and hold still. Slowly come back down, reach your arms up, extended mountain pose, and then take your leg straight out behind you and imagine arms out wide, imagine you're soaring through the sky. Flex your foot, keep that leg super strong, and then switch sides. Airplane pose on the other side. Flex your foot, make your fingers super spread out and strong. And soar through the sky. Extended mountain pose. Fold forward. Breathe out. Imagine a day when autumn is a yellow canopy above you, a burnt orange carpet underneath, a road you have never ridden on before. Imagine a day when everything you build touches the sky. Imagine a day when roots drink up rivers, twigs tangle in clouds, and a tree is a ladder between earth and air. Come to your backs for bicycle pose. We're going to imagine that we're riding on the road. Bring one leg out and your elbow to that other leg opposite and then other side, opposite knee to opposite elbow, and move your legs like you're pedaling on a bicycle. And then grab your knees, rock back and forth, and come up into boat pose, like a boat floating along the river, just like in the book. And then come down, low boat, lower just your feet to a hover, not touching, and then slowly come back up. Use those strong, strong belly muscles. And then lower down, and then slowly come back up for boat pose. Hug your knees in, rock and roll, and rock and roll. Imagine a day when you build the world around you, piece by piece. Imagine a day when the edge of the map is only the beginning of what we can explore. Imagine a day when your sandcastle can withstand even the highest waves. Imagine a day when the peace of a forest and the strength of a mountain become a cathedral for your heart. Imagine a day when a book swings open on silent hinges and a place you've never seen before welcomes you home. Imagine today. Take your legs out wide. Breathe in, bring your arms up above your head like you're creating the world in your hands. And go over to the right, searching all over the world on your map and over to the left. And then take your hands down to the center and stretch them as far as you can. Go over 
to the right, stretching them out, exploring on your map out in front of you, back to center, and over to the left. Come back to center and slowly, slowly come back up. Come to crisscross applesauce. Place your hands on your knees. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. With your eyes closed, imagine the most fun place you can imagine. Think about all the things you like to do that are in this place and all the people that you love, where everyone is kind and everything is possible. Put a big smile on your face thinking about this place. The place that you can come back to anytime you're feeling sad or alone or frustrated. A place that makes you happy. Take one more big breath in. A loud exhale out. Slowly open your eyes. Thank you for coming to Storytime Yoga. I will see you guys next time.